Hi, this is Diane with the Red Puppy Wigs. I'm located in the Kansas City metro area. And today I wanted to show you a couple styles from John Renault. Just this fall of 2021, they've released a few new wavy styles and one I ordered in for a client who I'm working with out of state. And it's a really cute style. I really like it a lot. And so I wanted to share it with you. The name of this new style is called Quinn and that's Q-U-I-N-N. -N. And this particular color is the 6F27. So Quinn is a lace front and has a side part, let's do it this way, on the left side. And it is a, a beachy kind of wave. And then that color's got the, the base of a six, which is a dark brown, it's it's hard to see in this particular one. And then it's got the 27, the red, running through it. So, whoops, I forgot my nylon cap. Excuse me. I can turn it to do many things at once. Okay, here we go. On my wet hair that's growing back from my head shaving. It's getting kind of long. My mom asked me yesterday if I was going to shave it again. Um, probably not as short as it was, although you never know. Because it was kind of fun this summer just not having to worry about it. Okay, so this one too just has the classic um, elastic with the um, hook and loop on to, to, for the adjustment. I will post all the information on the wigs that I'm going to show you today down below, as well as my head size. My head tends to run a little bit large compared to wigs. This one fits pretty decent, though. Um, Circumference-wise, it's, it's an average, but apparently otherwise it's large. So this is the new style from John, one of the new styles from John Renault for the fall of 2021 this is quinn and i think she's way cute uh traditional fiber it's not a heat defiant fiber so it's it may last a little longer but of course it will anyway because it's not all the way down to my collar which i prefer for winter or for fall and winter where we'll wear more clothes and so we, it doesn't rub because fabric against fabric or fiber against fiber, it just wears out. Um, I kind of describe it like if you had a favorite t-shirt and you just wore it every single day, eventually under the arms or where it rubs, it's going to get pilly. Or maybe you've experienced, if you're one of those girls who has the pleasure of th thighs that touch, that your pant legs get kind of pilly or wear out there. And that's what happens with the wigs is the fiber rubs on your clothing. So to have a style that's this length is great. It's kind of a stacked bob with the wave. So I'll pull that side out. I'll show you this this other side. I love this this color. Uh, it's it's good for me and my my very fair skin, my Irish heritage. I guess got a lot of redheads in the family. So, but this is the Quinn. And like I said, I was I'm working with a woman who's in a different state, and we were trying to pick out a color for her. Uh, via pictures and FaceTime and what have you and this was one of the choices um, the other because she she is a tr she is a brunette the other one we wanted to try was and it's a this is a different style it's been a, this style's been around for a few years and it's one of the professional collections this is the Lucy and the the uh, color number is FS4 3330A. So right away it tells you that it's a dark brown with with red highlights. And this one is. It's a really dark brown, but it's got some, and I don't know if you can tell in the light, but it's got some really um, distinctive red highlights. It's not just a, 
a blend. It's got some chunky red highlights. So um, this too has the lace front, but it also has an entirely hand-tied top. So each one of the fibers is tied in by hand and also the hand-tied lace back or cap. So you can part it on either side, you're not stuck. This one's quite a bit longer. And it's a great, I think it's a great color going into the winter. You know, a lot of people like to have darker hair in the winter and then do the highlights for summer. Um, I had it on the other day, one of my clients, we walked outside and she was just, couldn't believe how it made my eyes pop. It's, and that's the, one of the really fun things about trying on different wigs and different colors and where I, again, would encourage you to go to a salon or a wig shop where they actually have the products there so that you can try them on because it, it tends, they will, the different colors and different styles will bring out your best features. Um, so this one is just a, a long wavy and maybe you can see the colors better but it's almost like a cherry like a cherry cola kind of color if um which i've colored my hair in the past with cherry cola so This cap fits pretty well. It's pretty stretchy. This is not a heat defiant wig. This is just a traditional cat or synthetic again. So it's not as concerning about rubbing on the clothes. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous style, gorgeous color. Um, I'm not used to wearing a lot of hair, but I like this one. I, I would definitely wear this, this wig. Um, one of the other things, just, just talking about different colors with different wigs, um, I have one client that I've worked with for over a decade, and when she comes in, she just will wear a solid top like I'm doing today, and we will try different, and she, no makeup. She, won't wear, she doesn't wear makeup when she comes in, and then, we can always tell which colors look best on her by which ones bring out her natural coloring. So, in most, a lot of you already know this, that your coloring looks better with more of an ash tone or more of a warm tone, and but, but it's really dramatic when, with the different wigs. And we, we'll try things we know aren't gonna work just for fun, but it, it's obvious right away which ones are gonna be the best for her. So. I again I suggest that that sometimes the natural hair that you have on your head isn't always the best color for you sometimes there are colors that you can get in a wig that are going to enhance what you already have what's your natural beauty so I, I would I would strongly suggest to make an appointment work with somebody who knows about those things who's familiar with that and isn't going to talk you into something just because you happen to be in their store and they happen to have it that day and it's also to purchase wigs online it's difficult to see colors if you've looked you'll just at a website they might have a one inch square which really doesn't doesn't give you the whole story so those are just a couple little tips for today but um these two wigs, again, are John Renault wigs. The first wig was the new style Quinn, new for fall of 2021, and that was in the 6F27. This is a professional, what they call the professional line, so you can only get in salons, and it's the Lucy and the FS4 3330A, and... Um, I want to again, I'm Diane. I own Red Poppy Wigs in the Kansas City metro area. I invite you to like my videos. Please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, any questions, um, anything I can help you with, I'm happy to do that. I will leave all the contact information and all the specs about the wigs in the comment or down below. Um, and also please share or and subscribe to the channel. I think you'll... Um, 
find that I can give, give you a lot of information. I'm more than happy to help you in any way that I can. Thank you. It's um, November of 2021, so I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and happy holidays going forward, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.